Hi everyone, and welcome to Jack's Glass Taker Shop. Thanks for dropping in. Today we're going to be doing a video on fixing the inner core of my flex shaft. I was carving a walking stick yesterday and trying to do the eyes and got my taper burr stuck on my glove. Uh, one thing I do like about the Dremels is that they use a square tip, so whenever it gets caught on something like that, they snap easily to stop the blade from really doing much damage which I really, really like. Um, one thing I don't like is that, like I said, I mean, they can get caught on something very simple and it snaps. Um, so I've done this a couple times already and I hadn't recorded myself. So I decided to make a video about it because it is cheaper to spend the eight bucks to get the new inner core than it is to spend the 30, $40 to replace the actual whole hand piece. So I've done this a couple times. This will be my first time recording it. So let's see if it goes as smooth on screen as it does off screen. As you can see, it did a break right in there. So normally you would be able to pull this out. Yeah, I can't get in there. Oh, 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 Never mind, it came out. Okay. That one actually ended up coming out. Ooh. And as you can see, there's still quite a bit of grease on there, which there should be because I haven't had even 20 hours probably on this inner core. I was expecting it to be a little bit more difficult. The last time I did it, I ended up having to take this whole hand piece apart. So hopefully next time there'll be a video on that. But now all we do is throw this away. I've ordered this replacement part on Amazon. I think it was like eight bucks, 16 bucks for a two pack. Um, the first time I ordered it, I only ordered one just to test it out to see how it works. I do have two more on the way now. Um, so as I said, I don't know if you can see that number ending in four, five, four, three. That's the one that I got. And like I said, I think there's still pretty, uh, if I can get it out. I think there's still quite a bit of grease on the inside there. Um, like I said, I haven't even had 20 hours on this flex shaft yet. I don't think I need to add more grease. Too much grease makes the handle hot when it's, uh, makes the handle hot, hot whenever it's running. Okay, so now we need to get that out of there, which is pretty simple. Oof. And there it is. Snap that sucker right in half. It's a safety mechanism. That's why I prefer these over the circle ones. So that if they do get caught or something, they shut off. It's like a self shut off. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So let's get her put back together. Okay, so all you do is feed this back through the cord. Straighten it out. Now let's test it out. <clears throat> I just got my little hang up here right off the screen. Plug it in. 
And let's see. There we go. We are back in action. All right, and there is a simple fix of just simply replacing the inner flex shaft. Not too much complicated. And hopefully next time I'll be able to do a video on the in-depth taking the actual hand piece apart. All right, well, thanks for dropping in. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.